as far as I'm concerned, the way we choose to write songs now has changed. For example, like, I mean, the last few couple of records, we'd literally just bang a load of riffs together and then like look at the look at the time, oh, it's about three and a half minutes, right, it's time to wrap it up. Whereas, <laughs> and there'd be like, you know, 10 or, 10 or 12 riffs that are in there and there's not a lot of repeats and that started to annoy me. And I've started noticing that with a lot of bands and it started to annoy me. So on this one, I've, I've made a conscious effort to, to make it coherent and like, you know, you want, you want stuff to repeat. You don't need to put a million riffs in one song, do you know what I mean? To that song breathe, and I didn't time any of it like so. I just like wrap up the song when it felt like it was done. That's we're, we're very conscious of how it translates live now. Yeah, as well. Yeah, but we, that we was before. the main focus of this album was to write live songs. Yeah. yeah. Whereas some of the songs and some albums we listen to it now and go like, I can't play that live. I can't do that. Or it's just like nonsense. It's, it's just too hard. <laughs> This new album, all the songs are comfortable to play, I'd say. If you, choo if you chose to play any of them in the set, we'd be fine with it. You want a lot of singles, for one. I think we could choose a lot of singles from the album, mm. and it would work, and that's kind of what I wanted to do. The songs we chose to release with videos or lyric videos, we thought they would be the strongest ones, where you look at the comments, and there's two, there's two other main ones that stand out that people talk about, which is the first track, Sovereign, and one, of the one further one on the album, um, Last Rites. So we might have to start playing them. Yeah if people are asking for it. I hope they all realise that Frank's not going to turn up to do the vocal part. <laughs> <laughs> we think it might be the last one he's on yeah. CD, to be honest. By pure luck. Yeah, by, <laughs> by luck. It yeah. might be his last ever performance on yeah. disc. I have a certain way of writing songs and similar structures will, will prop up, but only for me that will notice it. Like I'd have to explain to people that this sounds like this song because it's very similar the way the riffs are, but for the most part, I, I, I focus on one motif. Like, you know, one, one, you know, one key, and then to kind of work around it, and then, you know, if I need to do a tempo change, and I'll do it. If I don't, I won't. You know, sometimes it'll be four minutes of the same tempo, which we do Previously, we'd always try and change tempos up quite, you know, quite a lot. But if you ask for it, it does. If it doesn't, then you just keep it the way it is. This is something I've noticed when I tour the stage. It's no, it's no digging any of them, but they treat it purely as a business. They don't seem to hang out like we choose to do. No. Like we are best friends, and we, you know, we yeah. do things the set like together all the time like because we are mates whereas like you'll see a band that's got like a four lineup changes in, in four years it's like well he's just another tool for you to yeah. do what you're doing like but it's something what we're proud of but we wouldn't have the same lineup if we weren't friends and that's important i think yeah absolutely same with writing as well yeah, yeah it makes it important yeah when we write that we've got that chemistry as well uh, we all we've all got the same goal and um, we've always had that for you know, the past best part of 12 years so we're really democratic when we write. Yeah. I mean, yeah, I mean, obviously you write mo most of the material anyway. But if some, if one person's got an idea, it's always going to be pulling in the same direction. Yeah. So whether it might be the wrong or right idea, I mean, that, that's up for debate. But it'll always be aiming for you know the same goal every single time. So we seem to have just fell into this place where we're all constantly on the same page. Yeah. Because we've been together for so long, the same people. Like we just. We'll just hear it and we'll just go, yeah, this is what needs to happen. <laughs> yeah. This is what's going next. This is how it needs to sound. And if there's conflict, then we just we try it and then we move on and that's it. We just have to, it's just part of the process, isn't yeah. it? There's never any bitchiness. No. Like, in the writing process or recording process, anything like that, it's just, let's just get on with it. It's not how I get the job done, I think. Yeah. That's what we're doing. Yeah.